Good morning, how you doing? It's um, yeah, it's Friday morning, literally about to start work in a few minutes. Thought I'd make a quick little vlog video about the conches, just to keep you updated with how it's going. Um, yeah, like I say, it's Friday morning, so it's, what is it, yeah, third day since having them done, since stretching them, like third morning waking up, and I'm shattered. It's really difficult to get to sleep when both of your ears are really, really tender. That's why, like I said before, it's halfway worth doing just one, then the other, make it a little bit easier to sleep at night. But then, on the other hand, I only have to go through it once now. I don't have to think, don't have to worry about once this one's settled down, then I've then got to go through the whole thing with that one. Once it's done, it's all done then. That's why I decided to go with doing them both at once. Even if it's a little bit harder, it's over quickly, if that makes sense. But yeah, so... So yeah, yesterday sucked. <laughs> yesterday was horrible. Yesterday was the, was the worst day. I had a feeling it was going to be. Just because... I often do find in the first sort of the 24 to 48 hour period is when they swell up the most and um, it's, the, it's the swelling that causes a lot of the pressure and a lot of the pain. Uh, still a little bit tender to the actual touch. I feel I definitely feel a hell of a lot better today. But it's one of those sort of pains where it's just, it's bearable. But it's just always there, if, you, if if that makes sense. You just sort of you're constantly aware of it. It's always distracting you, and you can't really do anything to make it go away. And it becomes very draining, both sort of mentally and physically. So, yeah. But that was that was yesterday, and it is definitely feeling a lot better today. That's the nice thing about conches, is that it's it is very painful right to begin with, but it does fairly quickly taper off and get a lot better. I don't know how well you can see it there. First thing I did when I woke up this morning was a good salt soak. I've been doing... Well, I've been doing two salt soaks every day. So one first thing in the morning when I wake up and then one a little bit later in the evening. Just to help keep it clean and try to keep some of the swelling down. I don't know how well you can see my um, ears are still a little bit puffed up. This is the rest of my hair. You can see just how much it's swollen up around here. But that sort of plays a little bit into what I was talking about the other day when I first received the jewellery. That's part of the reason why I like to buy really long jewellery. I'll see if I can show you the back. I don't know how well this is going to go. It's swollen up so much that there's, even though there's, there is some very long jewellery, got the sunshine through it there. Sorry, anyway, but, um, even though the jewellery is very long, it's swollen up so much that it's taken up pretty much the entire length of the jewellery. And if the jewellery was any shorter, or if it was a piece of jewellery that, say, had a flare on the back, or or an O-ring or something, that would all just add extra pressure to the swelling up, because obviously this, there wouldn't be as much room for the ear to swell up without it pressing on, pressing on the jewellery, if that makes sense. I'm sorry, I'm rambling a little bit because I'm so tired, but, but no, that's um, a big part of the reason why I like long jewellery, especially for, for actually stretching. If I, um, I would consider getting something a little bit shorter once it's actually settled down, if I decided to stay at a certain size, but, but no, like I say, normally the, the sort of 24 to 48 hour period is typically the worst is the worst bit and it should in theory start to get slightly better from now I don't know how well you can see I think that it actually looks a little bit blurry probably because of all the light behind me guessing. anyway oops anyway yeah so yeah it's like I said it's still nice and small and it's still really tender to the touch I'm just doing like I say the only real stuff I'm doing to make it feel better at the moment is the um Salt soaks. There's the other one. This this is by far the worst. Here. It's the most tenuous one that's fallen up. It's got the most crusty bits around it. Yeah, the the salt soaks do make it feel instantly better because obviously because it's so swollen and there's a lot of pus and it gets a lot of um. In the same way that fresh piercings get a lot of sort of hard crusty bits around the um the jewellery, when you stretch something like a conch or a 
even if you were to stretch out the cartilage, you get a lot of that same crusty build up. And um, something I find is that it's it gets stuck between the jewellery and the tissue. And then when if you move your ear or something or whatever you're doing, it it snags on the skin and it feels like a sharp, almost like a needle prick. And just just keep helping to keep it clean and just clearing away some of that manky stuff and the crusty bits by doing like like I say, just a little salt soak and then just wiping it away with something like a Q-tip or, or a bit of fold-up tissue paper. Right away, that takes away so much of the pressure and gets rid of so much of the... just the additional little pain that you don't really want to be going through if you don't have to. Unfortunately, it's a, it's a piercing that when you stretch it, it's going to be painful no matter what. There's no way you can get around it. But it, I guess the idea... The best things you can try and do is just to minimise that pain as much as possible I guess and a big part of that is just doing whatever you can to reduce reduce the pressure on the actual piercing as much as possible like I said that's why I leave my earrings out so they're not constantly tugging on it that's why I've got the long jewellery and why I haven't got like an o-ring or something on the back and that's why I'd like to try and keep the the manky crusty bits off it as well just because they're all all these little things all help towards just reducing the pressure as much as possible and that's that's pretty much all you can do as pain management, so to speak, during the first few day, few days or week or two. But yeah, I've actually already been talking a lot longer than I realised. I need to go clocking at work. <laughs> but yeah, so that's um, so yeah, so that's day three. Like I say, it's already feeling a lot better than it did yesterday. Yesterday it was um, like I say, very unpleasant. Something that a lot of people I've spoken to as stretch conferences do experience as well. And I don't know why this happens, but you tend to get jaw ache. The muscle in the side of your jaw gets very stiff and very tight. I don't know if it's something to do with the swelling. I don't know if it's... I don't know if just subconsciously you hold your head in a funny way to try and reduce the pain and it puts extra stress on the muscle in your jaw. But you get a very, like, tight... almost like a knot in each... in each, um jaw muscle, don't know what the muscle is called, sorry, and you, it becomes very difficult to open your mouth the whole way, it's very bizarre, but again, that only really lasts as long as the um, the swelling lasts, so that that's why it, it makes me wonder if it's something to do with the swelling pressing on something, or something, I don't know, I highly doubt there's many particularly scientific studies been done into this, so I don't quite know what causes it, but Yes, yeah, so that's that's another lovely thing. But I say, yeah, pretty much all of yesterday I couldn't really open my mouth fully, which made things like eating a little bit trickier. But again, it's something that goes away very quickly. Pretty much as soon as the swelling begins to go down and it begins to feel more comfortable, then the jaw ache goes away as well. So yeah, anyway, um, that's just about it really, I think, for the time being. I'll make another video in... I'll give it two or three days. To be fair, I'd imagine by the beginning of next week, the vast majority of the swelling will have gone down anyway. Hopefully, I'll be wearing these again. The, I don't want I don't want to leave them out for too long, so obviously they're going to shrink shrink up a little bit then. But if it's going to make it less less painful to heal the conches, then losing a few millimeter off the lobes isn't the end of the world. But yeah, anyway, I must be going. I really have to clock in at work now. So, sorry if this has been too rambly, like I said, I haven't really had a great deal of sleep for the last couple of nights, and my head's a little bit all over the place at the moment. Hopefully, if I get another video up Sunday or Monday or something, I'll be a little bit more coherent, a little bit more with it, I suppose. But yeah, anyway, thanks for sticking with this for me, and I'll see you again in a couple of days. Just goodbye for now.